Wow. Wow. Okay. What a year for 2009. Obviously for the tech industry, of course. Now, if you've been living under a rock for the past hmm, 12 months or so, then this is the only video you need to watch to catch up on the latest key trends that we've picked for you. And we're going to take a glimpse of the near future, of course. So, without further ado, let's roll. From carrying just one book on the go, how about carrying 10 books? No, no, how about carrying a thousand books on the go? Well, these ebook readers allow you to do just that. From the Amazon's Kindle to the Sony Reader E series to even the Barnes and Noble Nook, these ebook readers have rekindled our love for reading all over again. But for the traditionalist, there's no better feeling than turning a page and getting a whiff of that chemicals of, that went into making the paper. Oof. So why the rise of ebook readers? Well, it all boils down to the availability in many more countries now. Many more players in the game. And of course, the cool factor of just owning one of these. Well, in the near future, we can definitely see color screens, touch screens, bigger screens, and many more formats supported. Now, if only the libraries could lend us all these ebooks or could loan us so that we don't have to go out and buy, you know what I mean? Now that's something worth thinking about, National Library Board. In the past, the only way to watch a 3D movie was with these 3D glasses and to catch it at the Omnimax theatres. And brings back old memories now, doesn't it? But with these three new 3D glasses, and this year especially, we've seen movies like Final Destination in 3D, where the blood was just splashing all over the screen. Now this is all thanks to the improved projection hardware on Hollywood's obsession to put the next experience fronter even further while disguising non-original content. Now think about this, how would Up, or even, you know, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs even feel like without these 3D glasses on? In fact, there'll be even more 3D movies coming your way, like Step Up 3D, you know, the dancing movie, uh-huh. And my personal favorite, The Adventures of Tintin, Secret of the Unicorn. And if you prefer your privacy, fret not. But there'll be 3D Blu-ray players coming to your living room by next year. So you can watch the next Toy Story movie in the comforts of your own home. And PS3 owners, once a firmware upgrade is available, you'll be able to watch them as well. I think I'd better sell my Xbox now when I can and get a PS3 Slim. Oh, the iPhone kicked off this touchscreen madness and now it's everywhere. You can see it in PCs like the Sony VAIO from MSI, netbooks like HP Touch Smart TX2. Now Apple also has the magic mouse where you're able to perform gestures like, you know, scrolling and two finger taps. But mostly, it's been phones that have been parading like they own the touch world. Whether it's capacitive or resistive, touchscreen phones are invading the mobile space. They've even become very affordable with even phones reaching under $300. For next year, we'll definitely see more touchscreens with better UI and maybe the rumored Apple tablet. Will that become a reality? Only 2010 has the answers. 2010? It's official. High definition content is steadily tricking into our lives. And there isn't a better time to start saving those pennies to get your own full HD TV if you haven't gotten yours already. Or if you have, get one more. As they're getting much more affordable. Not only are we seeing more mainstream TV sets flaunting full HD capabilities, even portable entertainment devices like the Samsung Omnia HD. Now that mobile phone lets you watch HD videos on the go. And the ultra slim Zoom HD, now that just not only plays HD videos, but you can also output them on the big screen. 
Now, camera companies are also hopping onto the HD bandwagon by offering juicy features such as HD video recording for high quality footage on DSLRs. Wow, so you see, the whole consumer ecosystem is slowly embracing full HD content consumption and creation. In the near future, we'll get to see quad HD LCDs on display, which just means four times full HD. That's right, four times. Now that's a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Now my question to you is, is that enough pixels for you? But uh, prices start from 10,000 US dollars. But even if you have the dough, you still have to wait for suitable content to come out in order to fully enjoy the screen. Haha. <laughs> We as human beings seem to be constantly lost, or we just have a bad sense of direction it seems. While the number of companies dishing out map applications and GPS navigators, why bother bringing around a heavy street directory book? <sighs> well, if you're shy about asking for directions, there are many devices out there that's going to make your life an easier one. From internet map sites such as Bing Maps and Google Maps with Street View, as well as mobile phone applications like Nokia Maps, you have to be terribly directionally challenged to ever get lost again. Of course, with Google, there's always controversy about the lack of privacy and poorly blurred images. But enough of that. Looking into the near future, we're going to see cheaper handsets being GPS enabled and more detailed maps coming off all your you know, amenities without having have the trouble to locate your needs. Alright, so we just covered the key trends and developments for 2009. What do we do? Yeah. We book readers. More HD yeah. content on more platforms. And more touchscreen yeah. devices to choose from. What else did we not cover? Gee, I don't know. How about the OS wars between Windows yeah. 7 and Snow Leopard? How about the demise of physical media due to the rise of online music yeah. stores and application stores? Or how about Twitter becoming the most used tech word of 2009? Well, whatever it is, 2009 was a great year for the tech industry. And yes, hoping 2010 will be even better. Now, this is the last Zone Out video. We hope you enjoyed all the videos that we put up for you. 2010 will be even better, we promise you. From Sutledge and the video team, this is Zone Out for 2009.